Welcome back, summoners. MBR here with some more Doom bots for you today. I believe we're now on the second difficulty. I'm not sure. I believe well, there's two little bombs there. I thought it was three bombs, but maybe it's two out of five. But anyway, we played the first difficulty as Aatrox. Done pretty well in lane phase, and once they grouped up, they were pretty strong because of all their abilities. But with a bit of teamwork and the split push and whatnot, it was. GG. So today we're going to be facing against the second round. Uh, what they're going to be like, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what bonus features they're going to have. If the Ziggs bomb is going to like, instead of doing the four bombs that come off his like ultimate, maybe they'll have like eight bombs coming off his ultimate or something. I'm not sure. So previously I played against Amumu and Ziggs in the last round. I haven't actually faced against Galio, Ezreal, or Wukong yet, so... It should be interesting to see how they kind of work out, especially Wukong, I want to know what they've done with his ultimate, I can imagine that being kind of OP, I don't really want to think about it, it could be quite scary, so. Anyway, we'll see what we can get up to today. Aatrox was good fun last time, I and mean, he was a very sort of strong pick. I'm actually going to go mid lane, I, I thought Valkos was going to go mid, but I, that, that's cool that he's not going mid, I'd rather actually go mid lane. So it's been a long time since I've actually last played Trindomir, and they've updated with Splash Art with his uh, biddies in here, which is pretty cool. So I have to have a quick rundown to make sure I know what we're up to. So that's our fury when striking a unit for critical strike, blah blah blah, da, da, blah, da, blah, blah, blah. So obviously staying in that red bar is gonna mean I do more damage. I believe the Q heals me. Um gaining five attack damage. Plus one health missing, Trinimus consumes his fury and heals by yeah, and I believe this decrease in surrounding the champion's attack damage by twenty seconds and enemies with a back turn slide. I didn't realise that reduced their attack damage, that's pretty good. That's really good for actually uh dueling with champions, I guess, with that. And then my E is my little spin. Cool beans. And then the ultimate. We become immune and no one can attack me. I think we have some. What's our dance? This little kick. Like the can can. <laughs> I wouldn't want to really see Trinity doing a can can, to be honest. But we'll see what we can get up to today. I really want to see Annie. I imagine she's going to be pretty crazy on this. God knows what Tibbers would be like on this mode. Whoa, Ziggs is being uh, quite aggressive here. Wants a piece of me. I would actually go for him right now, but those little bombs are. Bit annoying. I don't think we're not gonna kill me here. We're just gonna get a nice, that's a nice chunk of damage to kind of start off the game on. Give him a little taunt. So we'll see. It'd be interesting. I like so far. Oh, well, he's only level one, but I haven't seen anything special about him yet compared to the first round. Don't know if they're gonna be more smart or something. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. It should be interesting. So let's keep it up. Hopefully, he can win. I don't want to lose to bots. That would be. Be a shame, even though they are OP bots. Flipping poke me down quite well, give them that. Whoa, what the fuck? Where the hell did Garen just come from? What was that all about? That's some uh, crazy ass hacks there. <laughs> oh god, I almost uh Well, I think we're staying away from the bushes now. What the fuck? That's what you have Garen hiding oh my god. Do you mean that's really uh it's quite hurt me. Luckily we have my little heal here, which is nice. So the reason be between Pick and Trindomir is I just think that his Julian once he has level six is gonna be pretty damn strong. And obviously, um oh my god, he's lifting bombs. <laughs> because the level six and the split pushing potential is gonna be really nice, so let's see. Not really doing anything at the moment, he's just stupid knocking me down, left, right and centre. It was so useless, that Garen, that whole Garen episode of going into that bush, <laughs> was not expecting that, to say the least. Uh, it's really put me on the back foot now, I might have to just TP away, but I've got nothing to buy, so it'd be a, it'd be the only time I'd TP away right now is if I can get another longsword, but, yeah, that's, uh, if you get the big one, big one either. It's desperate times at the moment, I, I just can't believe really flipping Garen just come out of the bush, what was that all about? It was OP, to say the least. Flipping bots. So I guess that's the added be benefit this round. Whoops, yes, oh my god. Um, I, so I guess the, the thing what makes bots strong this in this sort of game mode, the second round, is the fact that they get some like kind of hidden passive or something. Then I just can't believe. <laughs> I still can't believe that. That was crazy. It's really put me on the back foot. I don't want to go from it at the moment because well, I don't want to die. That would. Uh, 
pretty embarrassing dying this early to a bot. Flipping bombs. It's just the, tr <laughs> the fact that he throws his one bomb and he has little three little mini bombs that come around it. It's just crazy. I can't believe he actually flashed for me. That was quite a an aggressive play. I'm just going to have to back. I don't want to lose my floor this game yet. I know I'm going to lose it to these flipping OP bots, but <laughs> I don't want to lose it at the start game. That would be... Uh, that would be terrible. So, new left. We're back. And then we'll go wreck him in the face now. With that is flashdown. We should have good kill potential over him. We just want to kind of build up my uh, big red bar before we do anything too soon. It's just so OP, that flipping ability. That he gets that little one around him. That's what kills me over every time. It just, it, like, just stones me out completely because of it. We actually get him here? I hope so. One more water attack, you can do it, Trinomir. I can do it. Oh my god. Screw you, Zix. Screw you. Oh, that was pretty annoying. So close, but yet so far. I already thought we were gonna be able to uh, handle that whole situation now. Anyway, so now we're on full red bar, and the heal is quite nice, so we should be able to stay out on lane without having to back. And we'll see, that was that was a bit annoying, it would have been really nice to have got that early kill, because you can get, being able to have got an early cutlass, and having that cutlass against Stix is going to be quite important, because it's going to allow me to, well in that situation I'd kill him, because the slow plus the W slow would just be OP, but the one that gets away, not to worry. We're, uh, thanks to my Q, we've been able to heal up pretty nicely, so. That's cool. What's he, so he's going for. I want him to come on, try and blow up on top of me. Let's fight. Flipping. Oh god, no, that's not fight. Screw you, Zig. Screw you to hell. I hate this guy. It's just all the flipping bombs that he throws down everywhere. It's just an OP. Just a Q. Because if I try to fight him and then you've got three little bombs running towards you, you don't stand a chance. Uh, we shall see. But yeah, that that was really a good opportunity to, to have uh, killed... Had I killed him then, it would have given me a really... Oh my god. A really nice lead in this lane. Beaten by a bot. Didn't rise here at level 6. GG. GG to him. I was not expecting that. Um, that's a bit annoying. So close to killing him, and then he smashes me in the face. I was, wasn't hoping to lose my flawless game as soon as that. Flipping OP bots. It's cool. Top lane seemed to be struggling. Oh man. I was so annoyed, because if I had like, killed him in that situation a second ago, this whole lane would have been so different. And now that like, I've died to him. GG to him. I just. I hate those flipping bombs. If it's worth trying to die with him with my. Uh, there we go. Screw you. Why can I do that in the flipping first place, hey, Trinomir? Uh, that was a bit better. That was what we needed. We could, we should be able to get a nice amount of uh, damage down onto this turret as well now, which should be really cool. So. Might even be able to take it, potentially. That's cool. Focus on the minions just so that they don't take mine and get some gold and all that good stuff. I really want to be able to get a um, early cutlass into a, um, probably into a flipping ghost blade. Ghost blade would be OP. I think I'm trying to me. He might, no, I don't think we're going to get this turret just yet. That's cool though. So, anyway, at least we got a kill now. I just can't believe he got the first kill over me. I so feel like trying. Plus, make knights back up, and I don't have to actually use my ultimate. Now he has a card, he's flipping W passive as his passive. At least it's not Garen. It makes me feel a bit safer about going into that flipping bush now. That was that was ridiculous when he had a Garen just come up out of nowhere. Oh, I didn't actually mess up my. Uh, I messed up my. Um, oh, I messed up my uh, W then, I pressed it, reduced his attack damage, but well, you know, Ziggs not really attack damage champion, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it didn't slow him, but in the end, luckily we were able to bait him in, thanks to thanks to having my ultimate up, so. It was all good. Nevertheless, so, happy days. 
we just need to continue this up, get this turret now, be some nice goal for the team. And the thing is, I think the bots are programmed to do dragon at some point, or soon, around the sort of 10 minute mark. So I imagine they're probably all going to go for that, which gives me a nice little opportunity if, to kind of try and uh, push everything down. Extra how knows uh, two kills now. We should be able to look nice and strong. So anyway, so I've seen Ziggs before, so I know what he's. Or bar the fact he has these, like now he has some like flipping Iceborne Gauntlet passive coming up. Like I don't understand where he's getting all that from. Um, how's it? <laughs> I don't understand how he's getting this Iceborne Gauntlet passive thing. That's really. Oh, I did the flipping thing again. Don't know. Yeah, we're not going to win this trade at the moment. What only reason can maybe it was the red buff that he followed me. I think he was actually going. Anyway, that's cool. So yeah, I I haven't seen Galio, Wukong, or uh, Ezra yet. So it should be interesting to see what they're going to be like. I can imagine Wukong being OP. I don't know what his ultimate's going to be like, but I don't know. Nice thing with Trinity is at least with my um, ultimate, we have well, we just come invulnerable. We can't die. We're about to have it up. Again, like what the hell? Like how did that all just come out? I don't, I don't understand. I would have killed him. That, or oh, to be honest, he actually would have guessed still flash. Um, I could have potentially killed him, but the problem was, like, again, I messed up my W. I did it too soon. I don't understand how that's just come out. It's just like randomly appearing out of nowhere. Um, so we don't get to kill him, unfortunately, but we will get to take the turret, which is nice. I really do want to kill Ziggs. So. I imagine that he's going to be able to, uh... One again. Not to worry. How many just doesn't <laughs> go away? Anyway, if I get this turret off of it, which would be nice, my TP is back out, so we can potentially make a play, like, maybe try and help bottom out or something, once I have a nice amount of items on me, so... We'll see. We're looking good. Uh, yeah. I just can't believe I died at the start. I didn't really, as I said, I just didn't realize he hit level 6 before I did. I'm not sure how he hit level 6 before I did, to be honest. Hacks. Sorry about this. Complete and not hacks. So we should be able to get this turret. I might have to take a couple of hits for it, but it'd be, uh. It'd be worth it. And we'll uh, run away. He shouldn't chase me. So basically, we'll, we'll take red buff now and then look to try and make a play happen over somewhere, I think. At least that's two nice turrets for everyone, and everyone benefits from the gold, so uh, that's nice. Get the red buff, and everyone's a winner. Might go mid, I don't know. Everyone's kind of pushed out now, so. It's cool that I like that, that they've actually gave the bots some skins as well, I think that's cool. So, what can we buy? I probably can afford my, like, I could even afford my Blade of Rune King or my Ghost Blade. I might go for the blade. I don't know. I think probably the blade. They're going for the cutlass, and then oh, I can't. That's a bit of a shame. I could have stayed out and got some more. I might as well just buy buy that outright. It's probably better for now. That's cool. Um, oh man, I was only gone away for a few seconds. And he took my turret. What a motherfucker! There was no need for that. Now was there, Ziggs? Have mercy on us all now. Hear me. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see what the team fight's going to be actually like. Uh, oh, that was annoying. Really looking forward to seeing what the uh, fight's going to be like with like Wukong, Ezra, or Galio. What like, Galio's uh, ultimate's going to be like. Easy kill to pick up his exam. Now that I have my Blade of Ring King just to slow from that, it's going to wreck him. And then with the W stuff, I actually use it properly. It's just going to be GG, so. We'll push, push to victory now. And this is why I kind of want to trim is just so I can spit push pretty damn hard. But I'm looking forward to the this reason why I haven't joined anyone yet is uh, me and we must be about somewhere. It's quite an interesting range for him to kind of come up like that. I don't think we're gonna. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Even get the chance to flip an ultimate. That Galio looked flipping sick. I was not expecting that. The thing was, I was holding my ultimate on the whole time, and then when Galio came over, I was like, yeah, I don't mind, you know, I can ultimate and E away, and then flipping, he just taunts me, and then Zig's ultimate come on top of me, and I didn't stand a chance. Um, GG to the bots. Smart play by them. It can be clever sometimes, I'll give them that, so. 
Anyway, that's cool. We need... what do we need to do? I'm gonna TP, uh... TP on my turret. Three of them flip. I think, uh, probably I pissed them off by trying to take their flipping turret. That's probably what's happened in this whole situation. But it's cool though, because it does allow my team to kind of push and whatnot. Galio looks flipping the AP. <laughs> what the hell? I'm lagging as well. A little bit. Alright, we're back. I wanna kill... Oh, I don't know if I'm lagging or what's going on. Something feels really weird to me. Try and kill somebody. Now someone's getting like Warwick passes there. <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness gracious. I was quite lucky. I actually placed my ultimate pretty late then. I don't think it originally killed me. Uh, uh, we tried holding off for a little bit. There was just so many people there. See that? Whoa, look at the Ezra ults just coming over the map. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh, so OP. Um, well, it wasn't really too much I could do. Well, I held the uh, Israel. Held them off for a little bit, but uh, at least oh, they didn't get the top lane turret. And they get bot lane turret. Come on, guys, go pull your way. Give me some turrets, man. That's cool. Scalio, some damage. So OP. What has he got on him? What is that feeling? It's crazy. Really want to kill somebody there. Uh, did Ezra just ult again? Surely not. He just ulted flipping like 10 seconds ago. That's unreal. Uh, again, there's not really much I can do in this situation. I'm going to have to pull back, unfortunately. I'm not sure I want to stay there with my ultimate down. I'm asking for trouble. I think I really pissed them off by taking those two mid lane turrets. <laughs> They're like, no, nah, we're going to take all your turrets now. They've just completely <laughs> wrecked our base. <laughs> Fair play to them. I can't believe it. Waiting for the Amumi ult to come off. Let's try and get some kills now. Have my armor up, have my colors. Right. Oh, I didn't even get my armor to go off, screw it. Flipping Ezreal's ult looks so OP. Unreal. Go, Shen, can you save that? Well, we just got absolutely messed by those bots then. <laughs> Oh, that was so annoying. I think the fight would have been completely different. I actually got my ultimate off. I'm not sure what happened. I think I probably. I was just about to click it and then I died. Like Ezreal like ultimated and then his ult like did like a second discharge or something. I, I don't know what happened. That was crazy. Oh my god, surrender. Uh, doesn't sound too happy, does he? Um. So yeah, I don't know. I think we, I must have really have uh, pissed them off by uh, taking their turrets. I was hoping to actually smash their inhibs, but it hasn't seemed to work. But anyway, so we're in a couple. Oh, well, I never. You know, I need, probably need about another 10 minutes so I can get the items to just bit push on my own. I should be able to deal. I don't know if I'd probably. Ah, oh, they've gone to dragons. This is a good time to push now. We're not going to be able to. By the time we get over there, the dragon will be gone now. We're five of them at this level. They're easy to uh, burst dragon down. I just need to complete my ghost blade. It'd be really nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, it just blew up. Happy day, it's what we needed. We now need to use this to our advantage. Hopefully they're out of position that we can get the inhib turret. Again, super mean is gonna be uh, really handy. Now I've been a moment as Shravana slipping dragon thing passive coming down on our arm or something, what the hell? That's crazy. Where the hell did the hell these are Oh my god. Oh, I don't even Flipping no anymore. That was <laughs> unreal. <gasps> what the hell? Wukong looked ridiculous. That was uh, that was jokes to say the least. We we'll go bottom now. We we'll go farm. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. That was just crazy. I think we picked up a kill on someone. Potentially a Mimi, but I uh, was not expecting that. I was trying to get the turret, and then he just <laughs> flanked us. Galio ulted, and then flipping Wukong ulted. I mean, there was like ten Wukongs there or something. Oh, I do really want to see what Annie's like. I haven't had a chance to uh, come against her yet. So, uh, I can imagine her being ridiculous. Annie bot always used to be OP, let alone Annie bot that's now like 10 times or can do. I don't know what she can do. I can just imagine Tibbers being super crazy or something. Anyway, so you may as well just kind of split push now that we're here. Hopefully, that my team can kind of hold off for a second. Uh, 
Um, and they give me some nice gold. What the, what the hell? Heck, what the hell is that all about? <laughs> I mean, it's just like, ah, uh, god damn it. We're actually gonna win this, are we? GG. GG to a Mimi. I don't know, I do can't believe you just. I just can't believe Hecarim just come out and flipping taunt me during the whole situation. Anyway, um. We get my ghost played on the go, as long as we don't lose any turrets. I wasn't really expecting that. I didn't think I was gonna kill a Mimi. I you know, probably really should wait for my ultimate account. In all fairness, he never ulted me, but. That uh, Hecarim taunt kind of screwed me over, and I think the minions were. I don't know, it didn't say any minions doing damage. I don't know. Revive? I know. Crazy. Flipping OP minions, that's all I know. Hacks, that's all it is. It's pure hacks. Anyway, Ghost Blade's up now, so hopefully we can make a nice big play with that bad boy on me. Just flipping Wukong. Chokes. Can we kill somebody at least? We kill Wukong, but was it worth it? I don't know. At least he got the top turret, which is nice. I didn't even use my flipping ghost blade, just bought it. Oh yeah, I got my ghost blade, let's go fight them now. And didn't use it. It'd probably, oh, I'd have, kick, I'd have killed Wukong pretty instantly with that as well. And potentially then killed Ziggs, but he can be in a new, completely flipping forgot. Used my blade of Rune King active as well. Do you know what I mean? Uh, GG to Valkos, good job for him taking that top turret, that's what we needed. Like I said, my TP's there, so when we have a good wave of minions, I can just kind of go on them and make a big play happen, hopefully. What was that? Oh, I, was I need to kill Ezra, that's who we want to kill. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, GG, that was... Yeah, that was probably stupid without my ultimate. I don't think I can really be going into them at all now without actually having my ultimate up. If it was a 2v1, it probably wasn't. You know, I actually used my cutlass, but it wasn't to be. Ezreal's damage is just jokes. Look at that now, like, what the f So he does an ult, and then it does another ult, and then it does another ult. It's just like, man, screw that, dude. I'm actually going to get home, guys, just because they're kind of pushing our base, and it's going to make me feel fast. Uh, yeah, we have my ult up now, which is a good thing. Let's see, if we can't, don't want to lose the flipping turret, that would be really bad. So I pop my ghost blade just so we can kill the minions really quick. It'd be bad losing the turret right now. Ult to flipping survive. <laughs> you know when you're ulting just to turn right away from that damage, it's never good. What the flipping heck. Guys are just so here. We actually get him. Nice. Stream flipping Galio. Because without my ultimate, I'm not as strong as I really need to be. Nice. We won. Here we go. Finally. There we go, that's more what we're talking about, finally. So what do I want to go for next? That's the question. I guess stuck in a pinning edge or even a phantom dance would be quite nice. Trinomir really works around having that big attack speed. So we do get the ace, which is really nice, but we're not going to make a great deal happen off of this at the moment. Maybe just a load of life suit, I don't know. I've never really been a massive Trinomir player, the best way to play it. She needs something that's going to allow me sustain but yeah, I, I don't really I think I can be fighting them without when my ultimate's down. That's why I rely a lot on is uh, able to break them with that. I'm not sure who that was. Someone hovering around, let's just hope they don't realise I'm uh, here. Get the red buff would be nice. Nice little treat for us. But yeah, that was pretty good in the end. It worked out what we needed. We just the thing is, is we need to make something happen off that so a cool thing what you can do is draw kind of drop a ward on that top side. But you kind of need the minions. If the inhib's open, it's GG, but the inhib clo uh, closed. Um, bit of an issue. I do really need to go flipping. Don't want to use my cutlass actually. Uh, king. Flipping minions is going to cancel my recall. I knew that was going to happen. I, f I thought I probably should have 
probably went, it would probably been better for me to actually. I don't know, we lost our turret anyway. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go for a BF sword just because we can get that. Bolts up, so let's see what we can make happen. We'll kill somebody. You wanna die, we can Flipping all. As long as I don't have to use my ult. There we go. We're in the building. Trindamir is ready to smash some bitches. Oh my god. Happy days. Triple kill coming right at you. Well, I was pretty lucky. I was very close to not actually getting my ult off then. But that's what we needed. Hopefully now we can um, push to win. Or we, or we won't win, but we can get a turret. Mimi's just here. Again, we have no minions to issue. And again, because the death timers are not long enough at the moment, you know, now we're, now we're here, they're just going to be able to flip in, um, defend. They're all going to be up and they're going to get the turret and whatnot. And it's GG. Let's see. If we can get the turret, this would be huge. But you can see us potentially getting messed up in a second. Pretty damn careful. Come on, boys, we can do it. GG. Good job. That was really good. You're actually gonna pull it off. So that's nice because it gives us a bit of breathing room with super minions and whatnot. So uh, help us out, which is cool. And if Blitz wants, he can have. Ah, it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> so the last time I decided to do Dragon. Oh god. I was gonna say they all use TS Alt to come get me. Blitz man. This is a dead man. They already one step ahead of me. Is he gonna get away? That's the question. That's the question. Who's TP in there? What? I don't understand what the idea of that TP. <laughs> Where was he going with that idea? I do not know. Um, that was a bit random by um, Valkos though. Anyway, we're looking good now. I, I can pretty much solo anyone and probably take on two people with my ultimate as long as I actually use it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see. We're looking cool. Once my Infinity Edge straight Phantom Dance is complete, I'm just gonna actually just wreck boards. So. Oh, that's a bit of lag then. Yeah, that's cool. We're looking here. G2. I don't know, I don't really want to just go in on them on my own as much as I kind of do, though I know I'm probably going to end up regretting it, so. We'll see. I think it's Wukong's ultimate knocks me up and then they like, throw a load of damage down. It'd be quite crazy, so it's better to play safe than sorry. But we'll see. Survive this. Oh my god, the ignite. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I don't even know what really happened. I didn't even use my ghost blade. I actually did try to press it, but for some reason it didn't go off. Oh well, we survived. That was the main thing. I did press it though, but. Anyway, GG. If it wasn't for Shen's TP or oh, onto me, I think I would definitely have died then, but. Happy days. So, yeah, nice. We're certainly looking in a good position. So, it's going to be interesting to see. Like I say this is the second game mode. Uh, game difficulty 2, I guess, out of the three. It's going to be interesting to see what the third difficulty is actually like. Because so far, we've had like Garen coming out of a flipping bush spinning on me. There's been, what, Hecarim come out of flipping nowhere not too long ago. And just like flipping, or Hecarim and Zola, I guess. It's random. Look at that damage now. With the full red bar, I'm going to smash through the turrets, and that's what we kind of need. It's going to allow me in the position where I can split push. Plus, with my two actives, when I remember to use them, and with an ignite up, I should be able to handle anyone that comes up against me. Fingers crossed. Just need a bit of a diversion. Um, but they seem to be a bit occupied in the mid lane, which is good. And I still haven't really made much use out of my TP at the moment. And there hasn't really been a great deal or need to. Yes. That's cool. Happy days. Oh, I was gonna say. Be very careful we don't know where anyone is at this moment in time. Oh my god, it's not looking good, is it? Not looking good. I may I think maybe I had the balls, we could have probably actually come out top on that, but I didn't want to die just for the sake of it, it would have been pretty bad. Really, we probably, I don't know, probably need to group up. Once my Infinity Edge is complete, I think I'd have suddenly won that situation, but... Oh well. Not too worry. Trying to get a push on somewhere. Flipping OP minions. 
Do you want to make something happen? And Mimu's disappeared. That's why I'm unsure where Mimu's just like managed to. Ah, he's back. Oh god, he's back. He's back. Go away, Mimu. Leave me alone. I can't fight him. This amount of HP, so we're best off just running away. So how far are we off from the IE? And I still need quite a bit of gold. I don't know why everyone's up there all flipping. They're all fighting, they're not going to win that whole situation, I don't think. Especially there's just Kogmon there, they've got no chance. Lose my goodness, now. Yeah, we really need to group up. So we're not going to really achieve anything. Um, as we're just as we're going as one, you know, kind of proving against me, and then we're not really making too much happen. Right, really nice. What we need. So now the death times are so long. This is a chance where we can make something happen. At least we be really nice. At least to get the um, in hit back. I don't know, quite actually, you know. Oh, nice. Get to knock it. Uh, at least we get the in here, which should be good. What's that? Hecarim just coming out of nowhere again. Like, screw that, dude. Seriously. <laughs> um, don't know if we're really. <laughs> we're not going to make much more happen now, unfortunately. At least we get the super minions again. Just need to. Uh, Get a couple more kills, group up, and do the same thing again. And then should be GG. Plus, I'm very close to getting my IE. Once that's complete, I think it's going to be a lot stronger. Should be nice. My ghost blade on the air. Keep forgetting keep, keep about that thing, Okay, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. It's not overextended. <laughs> oh, I regret that. Flipping Ezreal. I was a bit greedy. Um, at least I'll be able to afford my IE once I get up now. Let's just hope that they don't push and win. That would completely suck. So how are we looking? We got 14 killed behind us. We're looking strong. So Trinity has been a pretty reasonable choice to be honest. Well, uh, we've done a good job. Just need to keep remembering. I can always flip and use one and then forget the other. It makes a big difference having that ghost blade on. You know, 20% additional movement speed, for six seconds plus the 40%. Attack speed increase, just crazy. I don't know why Blitz is farming bot and Cogmore's farming top whilst they're pushing our mid lane. If we lose now, I will not be happy. This is not be good. Lucky, uh, we should be alright. Valkos is up and. Uh, cool. Alright. you use my actives? There we go. See you later. <laughs> This is where I can make a nice uh, TP up top, even though Galleon I'm still alive. But I still have. should be able to survive, uh, win this pretty easy, to be honest. Happy days. And Mumu's mid lane, so as long as they keep him there or if they even kill him, uh, it could be game, or at least a second in hit, which would be huge. What we want. Probably not the smartest idea, me actually just trying to tank this up like I am. Yellow, I'm just a bad man, that's how I roll. I'm <laughs> jumping up. No messing with Trinidad. Alright, oh, that's really nice. Seven double C means they're gonna be huge for us, so. GG. GG. We gotta be a bit careful though. So I still have my ultimate now, but it wouldn't take much to be killed. <laughs> oh, screw my life. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah, I should have never really stayed around. I just I I knew ah uh, hate you, Zig. I hate you. I could have done instead of I E instead of ultimating, which was pretty silly by me. So we can sell our pots and then we'll be on to that'd be our last item. So last item wise what do I wanna go for? Um I think I don't know. Bloodthirster would be kind of nice for the lifesteal, but at the same time, I'm just really... I don't know. I guess all the last whisper would allow me to shred three people so much quicker, though. And then just rely on having my ultimate plus my Q, and Blade of Rune King gives me not much lifesteal, but a certain amount. 
It allows for us to probably be better because it's going to allow me to chop through them a lot quicker. But anyway, we've got double suit, double inhibs now, which is really good. So it's totally worth, totally worth it in the end. We've just got to now do the final push and win. Ezra is so OP. And Mimo has now flipping Swain's ultimate gun around him. I really want this dragon, but I know I'm going to regret it because they're all going to TP down here and I'm going to be like, no. Especially with my E down. See what happens. Oh, my E's back up. This is good. I'm going to pop my Ghost Blade to see if we can take this really quick. If I can actually get this dragon, I'll be so happy. Uh, happy they didn't actually come for it. Uh, when I tried it before, they actually come and got me. So. Happy days. GG. How's that, bots? Put in your pipe and smoke it. Oh god. I'm dead, so dead, so dead. <laughs> Screw my life. It was totally worth it, making it, baying it in for Xpecky, <laughs> flipping Valkos and Cogmore in their base. The base race. Uh, it was probably silly for me to go. I wasn't expecting all that chain CC to come on. I should have been really, but it's now a base race. <laughs> oh god, a Valkos and a Cogmore versus a Mumu, Ezreal and a Ziggs and Wukong. Oh god. Come on guys. Oh my god, no way. No way. <laughs> oh, the base race. Oh god. Had I never died, could have been so much different. Um. Uh, who was who was so there was Falcons and Cogmore in the base. Then Blitz died. Then there'd be me. So that's four. So who was the other member on our team? I'm not sure. I don't think who who else is on our team now? Um, yeah, well, GG to the bots. That, that's pretty annoying to be honest. It was probably my own stupidity of um, going in the mid lane, mid lane like we did, and unfortunately they just killed our base a lot quicker. I thought we actually had it to be honest with Cogmore up there. I thought we'd have done it, but there you go. The bots win this one. We are doomed, as it says, which kind of sucks. I want to be doomed. I feel so sad now. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to move on to the third round, and we'll see what that's like. That was pretty unfortunate, to be honest. I guess my own stupidity of going into the mid lane like I did then was... Probably did cost us it, and it was... I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's a shame. We lose. We lost the bots. I feel like crying. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Have a great day. Peace.